Stephen Brundage is unlike any magician you have ever seen before. He's got some unique skills that have taken him all over the world and onto top TV shows like America's Got Talent and Penn and Teller Fool Us. By the way, he fooled them. So here to fool all of us, would you welcome the amazing Stephen Brundage. Stephen, great to Thank you. Here. Appreciate it. So you're going you're gonna to dazzle us, aren't you? Yeah, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube first. Okay. Can you actually mix it up for me? Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to warm up. We're going to go for a quick challenge. How fast should I solve the Rubik's Cube anytime you want? Really? Now, this is, I mean, this is truly a Rubik's Cube because I'm goofing around with it That's here. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. And quick time, how fast? Give me a number. Uh, 30 seconds. That's reasonable. How about 20? 20 seconds? 20. Yeah, we'll go for 20. When I say go, can everyone count to 20 for me? I think that's great. We'll, okay. Let's count down 20 down to one, okay? okay? When I say go, ready, set, and go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, we're whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like 12 seconds, give or take. Thank you. It only took you 12 seconds. But it's not really magic. What is it? Well, it was magic to me is what it was. It, it, it's just skill, right? Now, I asked a girl one show what skills it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. And she said loneliness. <laughs> and that, that hurt inside. I but bet that really hurt. I'm going to show you the yeah. magic part with the Rubik's Cube. Okay. We're going to mix it up. All right. All right. Now, you could guess how this part works, but not yet. We're going to go really slow. I want you to watch all six sides of the Rubik's Cube. We're going to go mixed up one-handed in the bag. Remember, you could guess how this works, but not yet. Watch. Mixed. Less than a second. Completely solved. Whoa. And I'm sitting now here. Now you're staring at the bag. Though. Yeah, you're, okay. yeah. You want it to... T no, I'll, I'll prove. The bag is totally empty, though. It <laughs> is. It's an empty bag. But double check. Open up the bag for me. Okay. That's crazy. Now, this is the craziest part of the entire show. Uh, I, I'll solve the Rubik's without even touching it for me. Open it up for me all the way. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was about to pop it. All right, now, we're going to take it mixed up. We're going to drop it in the bag. Now, one of my magic teachers actually taught me this. Watch. Is that totally mixed up in the bag? Totally mixed we'll show up. show the camera yes, to you guys. See that still mixed yep. up in the bag? Watch. Totally mixed yep. without even touching it. Totally okay. mixed. Watch close. Back to solved. You think so? Yeah, I've done it. It's magic. <laughs> you don't trust me. Watch. When the Rubik's Cube is solved, if I snap again, it goes from completely solved back to mixed up. No. Right? Hey, you know what, Keith? I think I no. can do that trick. Yeah, I can you know, do that one. You don't really yeah. try. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll prove it. I'll prove All it. Right. Totally mixed. Totally mixed. Mixed. Yep. Solved. It Unsolved. It's, it's messed up. Yeah. So, <laughs> you won't trust unless you'll see it. Watch. Look inside there. That should be one completely solved Rubik's Cube. That one is, empty bag. Whoa. <laughs> and I just saw this. Now, no. Is it true that you got out of a speeding ticket one time because of that Rubik's Cube? I've done it maybe four or five times. I don't want to press my luck anymore, though. Because everybody wants one of those Rubik Cubes if they think they can get them out of his... How did that work? I mean, how did that even happen? You, you just be, you know, it's being genuine, I would say. So I pull up you know? to your car and I say, um, I see your license and your registration. <laughs> and you show me that. Well, no, you, you leave it strategically placed in the dashboard. Oh, I see. Yeah. And he says, what is that? What and are then, you doing? And then you start doing magic. Simple. And they're so impressed that they just say, here, forget the speeding ticket. Let me take a picture with you. So, something like that, I yeah. bet you got more no. stuff to show me. Now, this time, we're going to make you the magician. Is that okay? Be sweet. Have I'd you ever, have you ever channeled magic before? I uh, know. Perfect. We're going to let you channel magic. Hold out your finger for me. This one? Like that. You feel it? I do. Perfect. So now you're the magician, Governor. We're going to mix it up. I'm going to take it mixed up. I'm actually going to throw it right to your hand. When you catch it, it's back to solved. You think? You ready? Absolutely. Okay. We're going to go mixed up one handed behind my back into your hand. Watch it close. Right. Completely mixed up. <laughs> mixed up one handed behind my back. When you actually catch it, hold it high in the air. Let them show, show it to them. How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all put back together. Hey, I wouldn't give you a speeding ticket either if all I right. were a cop. I'd... Now, we're going to take all the sleight of hand out this time. So we're okay. going to mix it up. This time, no sleight of hand. We're going to use real magic. Watch. Okay. I want you guys to watch all six sides of the roof. So this time, less than a second. Watch that close. Mix. Less than a second. I don't, I mean, I'm standing there <laughs> watching this, and I don't know how that happened. I really do not. That's now, pretty awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, magic, magic always gets better when it happens in your hands. So we're going to make, one more time, hold out your hand for okay. me. Okay. 
I want you to watch all six sides of the roof. If you've ever watched the bottom of the cube, pull out your left hand, actually. Oh, okay. Watch. Just like that. Your job is to guard the Rubik's Cube. Can you do that? Absolutely. Perfect. If I reach totally for the cube, capable. you could actually slap my hand if you want. If I reach, you could slap. Okay. Yeah. You're protecting it, though. I, I trust that. Oh, of course. <laughs> and yeah. I'm, we're going to create the illusion of free will, okay? Okay. I'm going to go through all the cards. You have 52 different choices. Uh -huh. uh, any card you want that you can actually see in the deck. When you okay. see one that you like, just name a card out loud that you could see. Name one out loud. Five of... Uh... Spades. Five of spades right there. Yeah, a yeah. very, very important question. Have I actually touched that Rubik's Cube since I gave it to you? Yes or no? You have not. And then what card do you name after all 52 cards? Five of five spades. Five of spades. Everybody yeah. watch that five of spades nice and close. You just tore up your card. Watch. I'm going to get that tiny little corner piece to actually completely disappear from my hand. Uh-huh. It's going to travel in there. It's actually underneath the Rubik's Cube in your hand. No way. Right. Can I look? Yeah. But not yet, not yet. Oh. <laughs> Even better yet, no, 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 better yet. It's actually, it's inside the Rubik's Cube. Can you just pinch that for me? We're gonna go as slowly as possible. Watch, hands empty. If I actually pop off a little piece of that Rubik's Cube, inside that tiny little piece, everyone should notice a tiny little corner piece. Take it to unfold it. Is that the five of spades, the one card that you Let's said? Let's take a look at this. What does that look like? It looks like the five <laughs> of spades. But let's see if it fits. Make sure it fits fiber for fiber. Is that the same exact corner piece that we just ripped off? It is yes exactly no? that corner. Perfectly. There it is. <laughs> That's pretty slick, Steve. Thank you. Fantastic. Hey, it is great having you here. I don't know how in the world you did that. I never will because I'm not that smart. But I know this. You can find everything you need to know about Stephen when you visit his website, stephenbrundagemagic.com. I hope you'll follow him on social media. What a cool guy to have with us.